So I recently started this vlog and my intention has been to post a video every week about messages I get from the light. I'm a psychic and medium and I've been getting all these downloads and I've been asked by my guides to share them with you. Today I, had, I was completing a video on manifesting and I was intending to post it this week. But today is Blackout Tuesday and I just felt like this space would be better served this week by posting resources for anti-racism. Now, I, so what I'm going to do is post resources that I know of personally, that I've used personally, that I've been through personally, that I've watched, read, etc. And my caveat to you is if you choose to follow some of the people that I suggest uh, on Instagram, they may also be on Twitter, I'm not on Twitter, but specifically on Instagram, please do not ask them directly for help. This is something that they mention over and over and over again. The intention is that you and me and each and every one of us do anti-racism work. Now, my name is Teresa Schley Valenzuela. I'm a woman of color. And I would also, after doing my own anti-racism work, I recognize that I am a white passing woman of color. So my dad's white, I grew up in a white world, and I, um, you know, I didn't have a lot of experience doing anti-racism work. And it all came to a head a couple of years ago, and I've been focused on it since then and learning and learning and learning. And what I'm doing is listening more than I talk. So that's what I am inviting you to do. When you go into these spaces with the anti-racism activists and you go in and you challenge what they say and you ask a bunch of neophyte questions that they've all already answered a billion times and they've also posted in the resource its sources it's very frustrating and upsetting to them and it's an emotional drain on them so i would ask that if you choose to interact with any of these authors and activists please do the work yourself listen more than you talk if you see something you have a question about it please check their resources section or google the information yourself before you ask them anything i've been in these spaces now for about two years i've never had to ask anybody for help because i do my own work so i'm asking you to do the same thing so following this short video is going to be a list of people to follow on instagram movies to watch and articles and books to read to help you understand how not to be racist and how to understand white privilege. And one other note I'd like to make, a lot of people get confused with white privilege thinking they're talking about financial and economic privilege. That is not what it's about. White privilege goes much, 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 much deeper. And one of the things I'm going to post is a resource for an article called uh, Unpacking the Invisible Knapsack. So the other thing I'd like, I invite you to consider is racism kind of looks like an iceberg. The part of the iceberg that you actually can see is like this much. Okay. The rest of the iceberg is way like this underwater. Okay. So this part of the iceberg that you can physically see is like the KKK and people who are visibly racist and police brutality and things that you can see. And what happens a lot of time is people who are not black people, you know, people who are not black or indigenous people of color, basically white people, they think, well, I'm not, I don't, you know, I love all people, especially spiritual people are sometimes the worst because they think if they express love and light, everything's okay. If they're not in the KKK, then they're not racist. But the, the, the most damaging part of racism is what exists below the surface. Your internal thoughts, beliefs, values that you were brought up with that you're not even aware of. When you start going into that work, let me tell you right now, it can be ugly and uncomfortable. And what happens a lot is as soon as people start and they hit these ugly feelings where they realize is they're having these racist internal thoughts, they stop doing the work. Okay, don't do that. The work, you're going to find a lot of these anti-black, uh, and I'm sorry, anti-racist, anti-racism activists say, talk about doing the work. The work is the internal work. 
That's really what I'm all about is doing internal work. So the work is the internal work. It's going into your heart. It's going into your values. It's discovering all the places that you really do have racist thoughts that you're not aware of. It's understanding systemic racism that exists in this country, in the United States of America and across the world. It's this type of systemic racism that you can't actually see that is so incredibly damaging from redlining to property values, from getting insufficient health care, not because not just because you don't have the money, but you know, black people are treated differently in the healthcare system, especially black mothers. Okay? So that's the real work is understanding the internal systemic racism that exists. So everything that I'm going to show you in the, in the following slides is going to help you understand and go deeper with that. So I invite you to do your own work. Please take some time today, this week, this is the first week of June to think about where your blind spots are, what, what more you can do. Okay. And let's hope that we all learn a little better how to love each other, understand each other, continue to do the work and get some deep healing for our beautiful planet and humanity that we need and we deserve so much. Thank you so much. And I will see you next week with a video on manifesting. Blessings.